evening. I'm going to call, I don't even have my preparation, as you can tell it's summertime. I don't even have my prep sheet with me, but I'm going to call the July 9th, 2019 Zoning, Austin Village Zoning Board of Appeals public hearing to order. Uh, we, we ask you to refrain from any conversations. If you have to take a cell call or anything, please go out in the lobby. Uh, do not uh, interfere. Remember that you are talking to the board. This is a quasi-judicial uh, meeting, and uh, so you are you are addressing the board, not each other, if there's two different people there. Uh, so we want to make sure that everybody understands that. With that, we'll start. I'm going to start with continuing business of the board, the ZBA 1019, Hudson Pharmacy, looking for a variance on window sign coverage. Good evening. Good evening. State your name again. My name is yeah. John Frustacci. And, and your address, sir. Uh, my business address is 40 Spring Street, Austin, New York. And my personal address is 101 Roosevelt. Right, right here. Okay. Oh, Dalton Farm? Yes. Oh. Yeah, Dalton Farm. Yeah. Exactly. Okay. It's beautiful, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. All right, let's, let's. <laughs> Start the show. Okay, so uh, where we left off was You were going to uh, approach, I believe, the, the trustees to see if there was any consideration in modifying um, the law at this point. I know that we are non-conforming and had indicated last week that, you know, we will, um, you know, do as, as, you, as you decide. Uh, one of the points of concern <clears throat> at the last meeting was uh, brought up by email to me last evening. Um, the chief of police had indicated that uh, he had a security concern. I'm not sure if he still does at this point or when he inspected it last. Uh, he brought up the point of the fact that in recent years, I would say more like uh, maybe five or six years ago, there was an epidemic of, of uh, attacks on pharmacies as a result of the opioid epidemic. So, curiously though, at the same time I had, I had received information from a local police officer that had wanted us to obscure the view of uh, potential um, criminals looking inside our store, seeing how we operate, seeing where we store medication, uh, that type of thing, um, where we keep our money, um, who's in the store, who's not in the store, so, um, Could you talk into your mic, sir? Yeah, it, it was shut off. Oh, you have to get pretty close. So, oh, okay. so uh, at that time, we received a recommendation prior to uh, uh, Chief Sylvester's uh, taking over to actually obscure the vision of people looking in. Um, that wasn't our intention when when we had created these signs at that time. I just thought. I don't you know, have anything from the police in the record here. Is there something in the record from the police department? Uh, it's just the email you got today. From you got a copy of an email from. No, I, did, I didn't get a copy of an email. Um, it has to be in the record here. Understood. Is it in the record it's store? What I sent yesterday was something to Bob to himself which was a response to an email that the chief, had, the chief of police had written back to me because I had, I'll just read it, but I, but I, but I sent it, uh, okay. I sent, actually I sent it yesterday yeah. uh, to everybody. What the chief wrote was that from a safety perspective, fully- You need to talk it to you. I apologize, right. I should, okay. From a safety perspective, fully covered windows present a major challenge. While Osning has seemingly felt a less significant impact from the opioid crisis, than some neighboring communities, burglaries and robberies of pharmacies continue to be an area of concern. Fully covering windows where we would otherwise have a view inside the store puts our officers at a significant disadvantage. That was, uh, the chief had written this to me yesterday and I had to 
uh, sent it around. Uh, so uh, that's with regard to the chief. I can say that I did speak with uh, Chief Engineer De Cruz today, who said the fire department really doesn't take a position because, frankly, if there's a fire, they'll just take the door down and they'll just go in. So there's no, uh, and he believes there's a, a knox box on the building anyway, so if they had to get in, right. they'd have access. So this was really more an issue from the police perspective than. Well, that was one the of the, the, that was just one of the um, uh, people that we were going to talk to about this. Right. Because this is a major uh, variance that they're asking for. This is Correct. against the code. The code states, is it 25% of each window or 25% of the storefront? The code is 25% of the window or 16 window. square feet, whichever is less. Gotcha. I mean, maybe he could leave one whole window open and the door open and leave three windows. I think what we have to look at today is rather... As a variance, you if you wanted to revise your variance. If, did he... Did he Come, are you done, sir? Yes, ma'am. Is there anybody here that wants to speak on the Hudson Pharmacy covering up the windows? Okay. There are there are different stipulations that you have to meet when you want an area variance. Correct. All right. Could you go over those? Of course. Ones, uh, even better. Uh, uh, this is both under the village law and under our code, uh, and, uh, and uh, you need to consider. Uh, whether an undesirable change will be produced in the character of the neighborhood or a detriment to nearby properties will be created by granting of the area variance, whether the benefits sought by the applicant can be achieved by some method feasible for the applicant to pursue other than the area variance, whether the requested area variance is substantial, whether the proposed variance will have an adverse effect or impact on the physical or environmental conditions in the neighborhood or district, and whether the alleged difficulty was self-created, which consideration shall be relevant to the decision of the Zoning Board of Appeals, but does not necessarily preclude the granting of the variance. Uh, and our code also stipulates that the uh, Zoning Board of Appeals in granting an area variance shall grant the minimum variance that it deems necessary and adequate, and at the same time preserve and protect the character in the neighborhood and the health, safety, and welfare of the community. The uh, particular uh, zoning uh, restriction we're talking about uh, applies across the board except in residential neighborhoods. So we don't otherwise distinguish. I have a question. Sure. Did you buy the kind of signage that adheres to your window, or is it peelable and you can take it off? There's two kinds. It's peelable and you can take it off. You can take it off. You know, you were able to put a board the full size of your window and hang it one inch behind your window, and I don't think you would violate the letter of the law here in this case. Yes, I do know that. And the only reason we <coughs> chose not to do that was uh, because of the fact that you get a reflection off of the uh, sure. the window that creates confusion. Right, and I, but hence my my opinion that I would grant the variance and if the police are concerned about looking in a window, that you leave one totally open, they can see in. Maybe it's the one in the middle. So if you take four windows, 25% would be, if you take the windows in, in total, one window and maybe the door. Police can see in, but you know, that's, there that's are pictures. That's not what it reads, it's 25% of each window. window. I know, I'm asking if. Right. So compromise. There's also right. there is also the um, that this might be you might have your state of the art signs. You may be able to see it. I walked by it. I couldn't see in. I'll be honest with you. At dusk or whatever. Um, but we can't start something that will mushroom across Austin and. Uh, uh, I can't even imagine what would happen to some of the windows. Um, you know. I'm concerned about setting a precedence. Yeah. I'm really concerned. I mean, I get what you're doing, but I still think that you could do, you've got Hudson Pharmacy, I don't know how many times on your windows. I don't know how many times you need Hudson Pharmacy there, in my opinion. Um, there's a lot of information there that I think you could do on 25% of all those windows. Without, I know it looks great, but I echo the concerns of the police chief, you know, and like well, I'm a member of the fire department and if it's burning, we're, we can get in. That's not a problem. But um, 
I understand it, and it's that new wave with the be able to see through it from outside at, inside out, just like you see on car windows, on oh, yeah, advertising, on, on vehicles. I see trucks. That's, they have know, it covered. That's a moving target. This it just concerns me that we're going to set a precedence in the village no, that no matter what sign it is. Right. So and it's true you could do the shadow box and put something back, but that would probably be a solid surface, and then people on the inside can't see out. They so cannot right. see out, but he. he but, no, they, but now they could, they and now so, someone could be on the inside, and the police are approaching, and they can't see each other. Where if there was a shadow box, then that person there would be the. It isn't our right. job to give alternatives, either, right? So it, that, you know. it, it's there's a difference between the two that there's a semi. And, you can only see it one way, and for the police officers to approach something where people are looking at them, and they can't see who's on the inside. The Is anybody? Right. Um, Stuart, I have a question. Sure. Does that reflect the doors, or just windows? The code is clear. It talks about windows. It windows. does not say doors. Now, okay. those are. Are those? Are those, are those glass? Are those glass. Are, are those glass, glass, those are glass doors. So that would, you know. I mean, you could put. I don't. I don't know if you have anything on there. You've got. <coughs> excuse me. You got the two entrances, right, off the parking lot and off of St. Paul's. Three entrances, actually. Three entrances. I'm sorry. And this is one of them to the left here, right? Yes. Correct. Um, Does anybody so, go in there to the side entrance? People use all three entrances because of uh, parking. You know, sometimes uh, parking isn't available on one and they move to the other. And uh, you know, just the. Would you like to hear some of my explanations for some of the decisions? If that, well, I think, if that I think matters. we've heard some of the yeah. explanations. Okay. I, and I believe anybody that knows or needs what you supply, the people know you have it. <laughs> they know Hudson Pharmacy well, has what they need. This is, this Why is, haven't you been in there then? I have been. Are you not well enough? No. I've got to get you from my mother. I haven't. <laughs> <laughs> I think our job today is. Yeah. Um, is to determine whether you have fulfilled those expectations, those five, is it five or six? It's, uh, you seem to go on for a while. It, it, it's five, I apologize, it's five. <laughs> um, but I think that something <clears throat> this significant, and you mentioned it at the beginning of your talk this morning, or this evening, is that if there's going to be a change in signage on the windows, whether it be your store, a laundromat, a grocery store, or anything, that that really has to go back to the Board of Trustees to modify their code if they see that, that that's important. That's my opinion. And, and just in response to that point, I was asked to spend the $500 that I did on this application mm -hmm. to present this to you because the code was felt to be old and this decision wasn't mine and uh someone in this room told you to spend five hundred dollars because the code no that's was the old? application okay. code uh, no no no, 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 no. Asking cost somebody. not in this room okay. but i was asked to come here and present this case mm -hmm. because uh my my argument uh had merit in this person's mind so uh, I did what I was told, and okay. I came here and I presented it to you. Mm -hmm. um, this is new technology, and as I had mentioned in my emails and uh, in my application, Main Street businesses are suffering as a result of not having tangible products to sell anymore, and we sell products and services, uh, services that um, require installation and uh, delivery, that sort of thing that gives us an advantage. So these things are spoken through words, not necessarily through images. And this technology, although it is more uh, opaque than it is uh, translucent, uh, you can see through it. I can do the, the shadow box, um, you know, but that will, that will clearly make uh, the visibility, you know, more difficult for any first responders. Um, Again, and again, I want to stress that it is not our job to tell you alternatives. Understood. Okay? We are only looking at one thing right now, and that is that you are covering not 25% of your windows, sure. 100% of your windows. I, I agree. Okay? And so uh, that's really what we're deciding tonight. Yeah. Um, 
and I'll be more than happy to modify it. You know, so uh, the, the, the point is, is how much would you like me to modify it? Uh, you know, uh, you are right, uh, Mr. Fritchie. Uh, the, the names are redundant. Uh, there's a lot that could be removed. Uh, I mean, I think 100% doesn't fly with me. Right. Um, I think you could knock this down. Yeah, can we see the other picture? You know, like just like it's ATM fax copy, and you know, there's another time it says it. And I think there's the message is out there. I think you could reduce, like, hold that frame right there. Yes. Like, pharmacy up top. Yep. Right. Say goodbye. Take the bottom part and drop your. Where are you, Mr. Fishy? Which uh, the the three windows. The three. All right, I, I understand that, but I'm trying to get to a 25 percent point here. I, I, all right, I'm not telling them how to do it. Look, I'll, I'll take it all down tomorrow you know, if you'd like. I um, think it would be uh, detrimental think, to the business. I think and, I just uh, think it should need yeah. to be. My opinion needs to be modified mm -hmm. to the 25 percent because I cannot sit here and set that type of precedence. I'm perfectly willing to strip the entire building of all of those window signs. I spent $500 at the request of a an employee of the town to present this case, which I did. Um, there's a lot of uh, ambiguity as to the interpretation of the code um, from you, whether it is 25% uh, of each individual window, what constitutes a window, um, are you considering all of the window space, are we talking about doors? This, you know, is all minutia when it comes right down to surviving um, in a, uh, a very difficult business climate these days. Um, I don't know what to say. We are fighting, you know, big box stores and Amazon and Kroger's and Walgreens and Walmart. I could go on and on. Um, but that doesn't seem to be the area of focus here. Uh, if you, you want us to operate at a disadvantage, um, I'll strip everything off those windows and we'll be compliant. If you're going to consider the hardship we're facing as far as retail businesses are um, throughout uh, the, the country, especially pharmacies right now. I don't know when you've ever heard of 500 pharmacists holding a protest in the egg at, in Albany. All right, uh, that just happened recently. Uh, pharmacists usually are behind the counter counting pills and dispensing medication. Things are rough uh, for independent pharmacies right now, especially in the retail setting. Um, the purpose of this was to uh, maintain that part of our business, uh, the one of the three departments that, that has been around since the late 1930s when my grandfather started it. Um, we are redesigning the interior as a last ditch effort. Um, this was an effort to try to bring in more business. So the additional branding on the windows was so that drivers by could see what we were selling. You see, uh, when you're coming down Maple Street or in Wilton, uh, the, the awnings are obscured by the trees, especially uh, when they're in full bloom. So uh, being that most, be, being that most uh, individuals are now traveling north and south on Spring Street, what we did was we put the branding also on the windows at window height. That's why those images are there. So that as people Did you check on. the code before you did this? Um, did you I, I went to a sign company and they they made this recommendation to me. So um, I didn't check the, they're gonna the code. Up, they're gonna sign yeah. companies gonna put up what you want. Yeah, exactly. I mean I uh, this this idea comes from a company called Maximum Impact that uh, widely uses this approach throughout the city. And uh, the whole point is to present ideas what, what's through images. What's on the top half of your signs? I mean, could you leave just the maroon on the bottom there? And does the top half come There's, the there's a lot that I could remove. As you had suggested, I could remove that entire window next to the entrance. Well, no. um, yeah. I'm saying if, if there was some kind of compromise to be had, exactly. and you wanted to modify your application, right. what modification could there be so all the money you spent for advertising and to give you advertising doesn't go down the drain. Right. Well, Understood. Stuart, there'd be no, um, there'd be no uh, 
resubmission, he would just go to the 25% and it'd be over. Well, if if the applicant simply goes to 25%, then he's in compliance with right. the existing code. If he was looking to go somewhat 50%? You know, above you 25, you have to come back Correct. to you, you folks. But if he stayed, uh, stayed to do it that way, one possibility is if he wanted to come back to the board with a revised, with a revised to basically show what it would look like when you, you know, because you can do that. You can sort of like, you know, yeah. give us an idea okay. of what it would look like without. Right. Then this board could look at that and say, well, that might be something they, 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 they what I would, would suggest we do is adjourn this application. Okay. You go back, mm -hmm. look at what you have, okay. look at where you can cut back. Sure. It, okay. And we'll let you modify your application. Therefore, you don't have to resubmit. You won't get a denial tonight. Okay. Okay. Because there's three members of this board. That's all we have here tonight. And, then, and so we'll have, we hope to be in full complement by September. Okay. So why don't you do that and come back and you can sit with um, with the building inspector. His cat doesn't happen to be here tonight. And we'll right. do that. So I would like to make a motion to adjourn this application to the September meeting. So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you, sir. And is so there a work session that I could go to just to present yeah. what I do before? No. This is, this is the time we meet every day. Understood. Thank you. Okay. What was the date? This, the next meeting, I think, is the 10th of September 10th. September yes. 10th. September okay. 10th. Thank you very much for your time this evening. Thank you. I will be here September 10th. All right, GBA 1119, 19 Terrace Avenue. Applicant is seeking area variance for side yard setbacks in order to construct a single story rear yard addition. Yes. Names? Good evening. I'm Lou DeMace, the architect, and with me is Nick Vienni. He's the owner of the property. <coughs> What we're seeking tonight is to um, create a one-story addition in the rear yard. It's actually infilling a little area that's already currently there. Um, basically, anything that we do for an addition would require a variance because of the existing non-conforming setbacks to the side yard. So we've looked at different places to put this, and this seemed the most logical place to um, you know, increase the house with another bathroom that's well needed on the first floor and also some laundry facilities like washer and dryer in that space. <clears throat> I have a picture of the rear yard that I didn't include with the submission. I just wanted to show that. Yeah. Well, let's, let's state out loud, too, that the addition oh, yeah, that you're looking for is 7 feet, 10 inches, Thank times 12. Yeah, yeah. yeah, we just don't want to do the trip. So why don't you go back to that? Seven feet twelve inches by twelve feet thir uh, three inches, sir. Correct. That's the addition you're trying to put. Yeah, on it's a twelve, uh, thirteen by eight. Bathroom and a, and yeah. a laundry. Yeah. Right. And it's infilling the corner of the space of the house that's aligning with the existing uh, right. house, and just infilling that corner of it. Okay. So it's a, it's a very small addition that we're asking to okay. approve. To approve. I drove by the property today. It's a very nice street. Yeah. Nice house. Beautiful. Nice and neat. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And the impervious coverage. Talk to, talk to us about that. So here. there's no increase. There's an existing patio that's there that we're going to be taking away, and we're just going to be infilling it with, um, you know, a shed roof um, that's going to be the same impervious coverage. On your zoning worksheet, though, you have a. <laughs> There appears to be the, the number seems there seems to be a slight increase. Slight increase? Yeah. Uh, second to last line on the zoning worksheet. Mm -hmm. uh, it actually it's it currently, it's actually currently they're at fifty four point four. They propose to go to fifty six point eight, but it's actually a sixteen point eight percent variance because we go by what is required under code, which is yeah. forty. So okay. So there's three variances you're looking for. Okay. These both, both side yards, the one side yard, and the impervious coverage. Right. Is there anyone here to speak on, um, I'm sorry, 19, 19 Terrace? Yep. Not seeing anybody? Do I have a motion to close this public hearing? I'll move, I'll move to close. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. 
I don't see any problem with this whatsoever. No, the building inspector did not either. Right. So if, if they just make it come to us. So it, whatever, it, whatever needs to be done. Yeah. I just want to do it the right way. So, yep, I, I totally understand it. Uh, do I have a motion to grant these three variances? I make a motion we grant the three variances. Do I have a second? second? I will second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank, Thank you very much. Thank you. All right, uh, CBA 1219, 6 Piping Rock Drive, uh, looking for a variance for parking in the front yard. I just want, oh, I'm sorry, are you guys with Piping Rock? Oh, you're with them. Okay. They're our neighbors. There you oh, they're okay. neighbors. I just didn't want you to be here for another application because <laughs> this is it. <laughs> And that's happened before, where I look up and there's still people sitting in the audience. So. Yes, and name and address, sir. Yeah. Stephen Coon, Six Piping Rock Drive, Austin, New York. Okay. And your name? I'm Susan Landon, also at Six Piping Rock Drive. Right. Good evening. Good. Just tell us about your application. Oh, briefly. Ah, so we um, want to expand the the width of our driveway to provide like a parking pad and turnaround space um, to the side of the driveway and that's what we're proposing the driveway uh, currently is approximately 40 feet long accommodates two cars stacked together um, we are a four adult family who live and all four people drive and we have four vehicles so um, <laughs> when we bought the place three years ago, we hadn't quite planned it that way, except mm -hmm. our daughters have uh, Our children arrived. moved home. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. and, and, uh, We've all been through it. <laughs> yeah, uh, right. And, and they both drive. And um, at this point, you can't park overnight on the street. So right. uh, we have been parking in the mud, uh, if you will. Uh, <laughs> about the Don't winter and the <laughs> okay. yeah, and so it well, was sometimes we park in the street and then we get a ticket, which we pay. Yeah, so we course. like to try to avoid that. The the police have been actually pretty accommodating, to be honest. Yeah. Um, and there's no room to put a spot alongside of your garage too for one of them for an additional space, or is there a big tree there or something? Well, I couldn't tell from the picture. There um, on the side of the house, um, there is uh, a path that you have about 20 feet. Oh, so that that's side. how you get back around? That's how you get back to the backyard, if you will. Um, the, uh, what we're looking to do is go from the, where the garage faces the road, to the right directly. And, uh, and we didn't get any actual pictures of your existing house, did you? Yeah, yeah, yeah there's, 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 there's pictures on the back, the last three of the yeah, I apologize. And I apologize. I don't know, we're not great photographers, so I'm not right, sure how that worked. And one shows the oh, proposed parking space. So you see where you're parked in the mud? Yes. Why wouldn't you ask us to expand that way? That's, That's what we are asking. Yeah. We are asking. We're going to the right. We're going to the right. right. If you look at the front, right to the right. right. Oh. Yeah. And you see right that pull in. That's not a front yard. Yard. Well, that's what we thought, Actually, but when we asked anything that's in front of the house the is way, the front yard. Yes. It's not in front of the house. Your, your interpretation is what the building inspector said to me. Unfortunately, the code says front, so technically it's front. So, so you are going that but way. But they're actually yeah. to the and, side. Oh, yeah. And when we, we initially met with the building inspector yeah. before all of this, and he said, yeah, that's not a problem, right. and just draw it on the survey, on the, the site plan, right. bring it to me, and I'll approve it. Yeah. And so we did. And then we got it, a denial, which we okay. were surprised at because we thought we were okay. And so that's how we got into this process. Can we listen to your neighbor? Oh, absolutely. Is there anybody, yeah, yeah, is anybody here? here to speak? Are you here to speak on this? Uh, you came all the way out here at night. <laughs> <laughs> Hi there. How are you? We're doing fine, and how are you? I'm excellent, thank you, ma'am. We live on 24 Piping Rock Drive, which of course is above six right and is there what would you like to know are you in support of this or are you against oh, absolutely this? okay that's all we need to know okay if you're, if you're here we would like to know whether you're supporting this application 
or you're a not supporting Yes, we do support the application. Thank you, ma'am. And okay. thank you for coming out tonight. Ms. Could you state you your name for the record, Yeah, what's your name? Can you say in the microphone? Could you say your names? Mr. <laughs> Hines, H-E-I-N-Z, at number 24, Piping Rock. Okay. The numbers are not in order on our street. <laughs> so six and, and 24 are next door. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> and your wife's name? And, and or your, my, my name is Renate, R-E-N-A-T-E, Heinz. And I see how you have gotten used to spelling your names, right? <laughs> yes. 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 Thank you very much. You're Thank you very much for coming tonight. Thank you. Thank you. So we've had this kind of... Um, example before where they where um, uh, in a previous application they literally wanted to go the other way in, right. into the front into their front yard yeah they're going to the right, right. and they and they th that particular applicant had to go to the left just like you have to go to the right and so I'm not sure where the turnaround thing the turnaround is well it's kind of a cake cake so you know, like oh down. so you know it's going to be big enough for you to yeah, yeah. right you'll come in here yeah this will be the pull-up area. Okay. And then the, the space between the, the additional parking pad and the road, it has trees and shrubbery in right. it, so it's not visible from the road. I see that. Um, the only place it's visible is from the neighbor's house on the other side, right. which you can kind of see. That, that's and, Adam, Adam Lutwin and Adam and Nancy Lutwin. And we did talk with them, and we've uh, agreed that we're going to put shrubbery around it. Right. I mean, that's not written in the, the plan. We right. just had a friendly discussion, and, sure. and we're supposed to show him what we'd like, and if they like it too, that's what we're going to do. Okay. Well, they didn't come here tonight to object. They did no. not. <laughs> <laughs> we so talked that? about that on the 4th. Uh, we got the notice in the mail, and so we had that conversation. So we had it at our at our Fourth of July celebration. Yeah, <laughs> we yes. talked about Trump. <laughs> but that's what people do. Exactly. All right. Thank you very very much. The only thank thing you. that the building yes. inspector requested, because uh, he has no objection, right. is that since the proposed pad is going to be just four feet from the property line, right. which is the minimum setback that before the pad is actually placed, it be staked out, yeah. that the folks call the building inspector and they can just do the measurement and make sure it is four feet. Right. Okay. Do you understand right. what he's saying? Yes. Yes. Just yes. Before, you, before you actually pull the grass Finish. up and pour the concrete. Okay? All right. So we'll put that as a condition. That's fine. Um, I, I know they mentioned about shrubs. Do we want to add that as a condition? Or is that a neighborly thing? Let's We'll just put in that you're going to put shrubs between you and the next door neighbor, as agreed as upon. As, as agreed upon, upon by condition. the parties. Yeah. Okay. okay. Anyway, That's happy fine. to do that. Yeah. yeah. Already planned. Okay. Yeah. All right. So, do I have a motion to close this public hearing? So moved. Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Do I have a motion to approve the variances needed to? Move the add the extra pad parking pad. Yes, I'll make a motion that we approve this application. All right, second. All in favor? Aye. Thank you. Thank you. Well, thank you very thank much. You. Good luck. Okay. Thank, thank you. you. Do I have a motion to? Um, <laughs> do I have a motion to approve the minutes and resolutions from the June 11th, 2019 meeting? So moved. I have a second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. So that concludes our July 9th, I'm checking that it's the 9th, yes, July 9th, 2019, a Zoning Board of Appeals for the Village of Austin meeting. We will not be having a meeting in August. Our next meeting will be September 10th, 2019, which is a Tuesday. And uh, we hope to see you, or we'll see you then, we'll see any applicants then. Have a great, have a great summer. Thank you. Thank you.